find the natural frequency of the system where we are having a massless member connected with the spring at the two ends a mass of magnitude m is placed at the center of this member and at the distance from l by 4 from the left end this is a pin joint so definitely this system will vibrate when we will give some initial displacement to the system and when the system will vibrate this point will not go anywhere so if i will just consider the motion i will be able to see that this would change in this way and this end will go in the upward direction and this end will go in the downward direction so if i will just see the displacement of individual element let's mass is moving in the downward direction with an amount of x spring one let this spring one is moving with an amount of x1 at the same time the spring two will move with the amount of x2 as we have seen earlier that this is a problem which can be solved either by using the newton's approach or the energy approach and you can use x as a generalized coordinate or you can also use theta as the generalized coordinate so i am going to solve the problem first with the energy method that will be pretty easy here so i know that my total energy will be constant here and the what would be the expression for the total energy the total energy will be summation of the potential energy in these two springs as well as the kinetic energy of the mass so 1 by 2 m velocity square and i am assuming that mass is moving then the velocity is x dot and acceleration is let's x double dot so this is the expression for my kinetic energy and the potential energy will be 1 by 2 k x1 square plus 1 by 2 k x2 square if i will see this uh, figure using the similar triangle philosophy i can simply find that what would be the value of x1 in terms of x so this distance is l by 4 and remaining distance is l by 2 I can say that my x1 will be 3 times of my x value. You can just try a similar triangle and you will find the same answer. Similarly, what is x2? x2 is actually again at L by 4 distance. So my x2 is exactly same as x1, uh, sorry x. So my x2 will be what? x2 will be x. When I will put these two values in this expression and then I will differentiate it, what would be my expression? After the differentiation of my total energy, that is going to give me the zero value because the total energy will remain constant what is the expression and you can cancel out the two from all, every expression the x dot will also go away and the final expression will be what the final expression will be m x double dot plus 10 k x is equal to zero this is the final expression and using this expression i can get the natural frequency will be what my natural frequency will be under root 10 k by m so this is how we can get the natural frequency and the governing equation of motion using the energy approach we can also apply the newton's approach and get the solution in case of newton approach as i said you can either apply the theta as the generalized coordinate or x as the generalized coordinate so here i am going to express the entire expression with the theta as the generalized coordinate so my expression will be what i theta double dot where i is the moment of inertia and in the given case this member is massless this is the only mass and rotation is about this point so the distance from this point is what l by 4 so my moment of inertia is nothing but mass into square of this distance so i will be what i will be m l by 4 square that means m l square by 16 would be the expression for the moment of inertia and it is going to be balanced by the summation of all the moment in my system from the free body diagram i can visualize that this was the original position after the deformation there will be two forces one force because of this first spring which was connected here and this is the deformation in the spring so i am going to have a force the upward direction and the magnitude of force is k x1 similarly this spring which is connected at this side is having a force in the downward direction and the magnitude of this force is k x2 and i am going to take the moment about the po this point so the moment because of the two forces will be in the clockwise direction but I have assumed here that mass is moving in the downward direction. So the direction of my theta double dot 
is clockwise and we have already seen that what would be the sign convention again i am just stating that the sign or the direction of the theta double dot if clockwise all the moment which are in the clockwise direction will be positive but i am going to write the moment on the right hand side so in this case the two moments are in the counter clockwise direction but my rotation is in the uh, clockwise direction so what would be the expression the expression will be i theta double dot is equal to minus the moment because of the first four that is k x1 and its distance from the point of interest is what l by 4 plus l by 2 so it is going to give me the 3 l by 4 and similarly the second that is k x2 the distance is just l by 4 so i am going to write the l by 4 and i know that what is the x1 value in terms of let's theta so i know that the x1 will be what x1 will be 3 l by 4 theta and my x2 is l by 4 theta i am going to put all the value in this expression my final expression will be what when i am going to add these terms my expression will be let's m l square by 16 theta double dot i can simplify and i'll get the expression will be m theta double dot plus 10 k theta is equal to 0 so here also we can find the natural frequency and the natural frequency is the just ratio of this term by this term so my natural frequency will be 10 k by m you can cross check the natural frequency you have calculated using the newton's approach or the energy approach are exactly same i hope now you have understood how we can apply both energy approach and the force approach to get the solution in terms of natural frequency or the governing equation for such system. Thank you.